Hello everyone and welcome back to Corsa 1.8 conversion part 2. Now in this one today we're going to start stripping the Corsa down. Since I've had the project and since I've had the engine, I don't feel like I've made any progress apart from fixing the wet footwell. Um, the engine is still complete, everything is still there. Um, so I just kind of want to delve in and get the project properly started. Now we're not going to be going too crazy today. Um, I just want to basically get the front end off, um, front bumper, any supports and radiator and stuff, anything that's in the way of us pulling that engine out, I kind of want to get that out of the way today. So that's today's aim. We're just going to see how much we can get done in the time that we have. I've only got sort of two hours until it gets dark, so I'm going to see how we get on. Alright, so wheels are off and we're up in the air on jack stands. Uh, plenty of room to get sort of underneath. Got loads of room there. Um, next, I want to get the front bumper off. For those of you that don't know or want to know, it's held on by a Torx here inside the footwell. I think there's a Torx also at the bottom here. Um, there's three screws along the top, eight mils, one there, one there, and one there. There's also a Torx in the other footwell, and then underneath, there's three of these clips um, that sort of just hold this bottom tray bit on. One, two, three, just pop them out with the screwdriver, and it should come off. And don't forget, if you've got fog lights in your bumper, to unplug them before you pull it away from the car, um, otherwise you'll snag the wires. Here's the four screws from the wheel well. For these clips under here, I use these trim tools that have got like a little slot in them to just get inside and pull out the little pin in the middle. So, to see, there's like a pin inside a, like a rivet sort of thing. So you pull that out, the whole clip should come out then. Like so. And then do the same for the rest. So, also in the wheel well, I don't know how you well you can be able to see this. I'll show you like that. There's a 10 millimeter there. Um, which you need to take off. You can take that one off as well, but you don't need to. But just this one here holds the bumper to the piece of arch trim. So we'll take that one off as well. Don't forget to unplug your 
temperature sensor and fog lights. So this is what we're left with, a bumperless car. Um, I'm thinking this is going to come off because this is just bolted on. This uh, splash bar can come off. And then I think this is bolted on as well, so we'll take this off. Then the radiator can all come out and that should sort of leave us a good gap here to then pull the engine uh, this way. We can just put it on a pallet or something here. But I think first I'm just going to pull these headlights out get them out of the way as well so I don't break them or scratch them or anything like that. So whoever had this car before me has done a real hard bodge job on these. The wiring is pretty nasty. I have to tidy all this up when I put them back in. Uh, not to mention the clips on the light are actually broken, the top two. Didn't notice that. So I'm going to have to plastic weld them back on. The uh, ground is there, so I've just got to take that off, undo the wiring harness, and then this one will come off. Break time, cup of tea, match needed. Freezing cold out here. You can see on the screen of the uh, car, still covered in ice or snow, whatever it was. Um, not doing too bad so far. Got a load of it off. And the good thing about these cars is the whole front end comes off, like all the all the metal pieces at the front, like the crash bar, um, all the supports and stuff all come off, which gives you brilliant access to pulling the engine out. As you can see so yeah it's not too bad so far and um, once you get work and it's not actually too cold so I'm alright at the moment um, fresh cups of tea though keeps me happy I don't think I'm gonna get too much done today and then the next one what I'll do is I'll take all the electrics and stuff off the engine and get that ready to come out and drain the oil and stuff like that so 
Not bad, quite productive. I've only, only been out here about sort of an hour and a half. Maybe not even that, maybe about an hour. Um, and I've already got all this done, so. Plus filming, filming is what takes the time. One thing I have discovered, take a look at these bolts on the manifold. Now are they ugly or are they ugly? Horrible looking things. The ones on the uh, joint that goes to the... Excuse me. Just start without a load. Yeah, the ones that go to the joint to go under the car as well are also extremely rusty. So I'm not looking forward to tackling them. I'm probably going to leave these ones and then I'm just going to cut that because I don't need the exhaust anyway. Right, well that's going to about wrap it up for the day. Um, got quite a lot done. Doesn't look like it, but um, yeah, I'm quite happy with the progress. The trouble is, by the time I come out here and get all sorted and then start filming, um, you lose light so quickly, unless you come out really early in the morning. Um, so this is it for now. I'll quickly show you what we look like. Tomorrow I'm going to start stripping everything off the engine that needs to come off, all the electrics, um, airbox, all that stuff. Also want to get the exhaust disconnected, um, and maybe even pull the engine tomorrow. Maybe depends how much time and light we have. Um, but if I can get the engine out tomorrow, that'd be awesome. So stay tuned, and I'll see you in the next one.